Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to test the antenna tracker on the DJI FPV system. Without further ado, let's jump straight to the test video. Alright, here's the close-up of the turntable. This is the antenna tracking device. It's a PCB board, as you can see. Um, these two antennas are the ones that are picking up the signal and comparing the signal strength. And this antenna in the middle is the one that is used by the DJI goggles. They are all separate individual crosshairs, like the true RC antenna. So each antenna will go to each port on the DJI goggles. Now, thanks to Mario for sharing the SRT converter, I'm able to convert the SRT files to Excel files. And in Excel, I could plot the graph as shown here. On the left hand side, we have the one from the tracker. And on the right hand side, we have the one from using the Omni antennas. Now, looking at the green line across both charts, you could see that the antenna tracker has higher peak points as compared to the Omni antennas. And this is largely due to the higher gain of the crosshair antennas on the tracker. When we look at the orange line across both charts, you will notice that the antenna tracker has fewer dips as compared to the Omnis. And this means that there are less occurrences of delay throughout the flight. An interesting observation is when we look at the left graph, which is the antenna tracker's graph, 
at the right side of that graph, you will notice that the antenna tracker has more dips as compared to the omnis. And this is largely due to the beam width of the crosshairs. And when the tracker is not pointing very accurately at the drone, there are more delays as compared to the omnis. But overall, I'm quite happy with the performance of this antenna tracker as I did not go very far in my testing. This graph is kind of conclusive to show that the antenna tracker does work for the DJI FPV system. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.